Hi guys, it's ASBYT, and over the last few years, we've seen a huge shift in a lot of us using smartphones and tablets for not only the more traditional senses, communication, social media, content consumption, but also for productivity, getting things done quickly and efficiently straight from our hands with less of a need for powerful PCs and laptops. On top of this, due to the global situation over the last year or so, many of us now find ourselves working from home more, so the drive to be more streamlined with our workflow in an almost out of the traditional office environment has become stronger than ever. And therefore cross-platform compatibility is pretty much essential. So when Samsung reached out to sponsor this video to take a look at their latest Tab S7 Plus with DeX integration, I thought, you know what? This is a great idea because a lot of you not only will be looking to possibly buy a new Android tablet, but it might also help those of you that are looking to a possible new future alternative workstation away from the more traditional PC, a possibly more affordable world where handheld devices are king and you just want to sync up to an external larger display when needed. For this example, I am actually using the Samsung Smart Monitor, which I reviewed a little while back. I will leave that video listed in the description. A great kind of halfway house between a monitor and a TV, but you could use multiple screen options for your DeX setup. So what is DeX? Well, quite simply, it is a platform made by Samsung which opens your Samsung smartphone or tablet up to create a PC-like experience. You can sync your compatible Galaxy phone or tablet up to a larger screen to chat to friends, watch a movie, or showcase a presentation to a group, all from your handheld device. You can connect your device using a cable, but Samsung have also made wireless connection a possibility for certain devices for any TV or display that uses Miracast. Now, standalone, the Tab S7 Plus is right up there as one of the best premium Android tablets going. Gorgeous 12.4 inch 120Hz Super AMOLED display, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, 8GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, 10,090mAh battery, and it's built really well. Dual cameras, four speakers tuned by AKG, tiny bezels, and a really nice matte industrial finish. The retail box also comes with this S Pen which snaps magnetically to the rear of the tablet. But the pen works really well on this large display and using it in DeX mode is ideal. More on that in a second. Now one thing people have always tried to do with tablets is kind of fit square posts into round holes. And what I mean by that is consumers and manufacturers alike have often tried to market or use tablets as the best of both worlds. The portability of a kind of larger smartphone but also as a mini laptop computer. But in my opinion, it's always the latter that they've never really been able to deliver on. Possibly until now. Dex mode on the Tab S7 Plus might just have cracked it, as you'll see. Standard, out of the box, the Tab S7 Plus has the usual Android interface that you're probably used to from any Samsung smartphone, just on a larger display. Android 11 with Samsung's One UI 3.1 over the top, really easy to use, nice and fluid and intuitive, works great for standard use, but you may just want that added productivity that DeX mode can actually offer. Selecting DeX transforms your tablet into a new realm of possibilities. Sounds a little bit cheesy, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> so in DeX, you have your apps on the left of the homepage, your startup or full application list, recent apps, etc. bottom left, settings for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and volume, etc. on the bottom right. And because Samsung have this really strong working relationship with Microsoft, it just has this really familiar Windows look and feel. You can multitask with great ease, resizing and dragging pinned apps into positions that work for you, enabling you to listen to music, chat to friends, do a bit of work and watch a YouTube video, for example, like maybe one of mine, all at the same time. You can also transform your Tab S7 Plus into work mode by connecting it to the compatible keyboard, giving you the added laptop computer-esque element. Now, selecting to go into DeX mode is extremely simple and can be done in one of two ways. If you're looking to wirelessly connect to a larger monitor or TV screen, using Using the Galaxy S21 Ultra, for example, simply swipe down from the top and locate the DeX icon, press on that, and follow the on-screen instructions to pair. You can also use a cable, and once plugged in, it automatically registers and the DeX mode interface shows up on your second display and can be controlled using your phone or tablet, controller, keyboard, or mouse, should you connect any. You can then navigate this computer-like interface, and if you want to, you can still use your phone for calls and browsing the internet, etc., even when your external display is showing the DeX interface, so you don't actually lose access like you might think. And if you're looking to use DeX for gaming, you have kind of two main options. You can play Android games on DeX. You can also stream PC games. 
To play Android games on a larger display, all you have to do is connect an HDMI cable from said display using a USB-C adapter. And once Dex has loaded up, simply go to the Google Play Store and search for and download the game you want to play. It really is that simple. And the gaming experience is pretty impressive as well. Yes, you aren't going to get high-end console or gaming PC performance here, but it is highly playable and handles some pretty major titles with ease. And if you open the game launcher, this has a built-in default full screen mode, which helps make everything that little bit more immersive as does a compatible gaming controller, if you decide to sync one of those up also. On top of this, as mentioned, you can stream PC games using cloud services such as Streamlink and Moonlight Game Stream. The caveats being you will need a host computer, a decent router, a compatible controller, and the separate PC will need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Yes, I wouldn't use Dex for editing one of these videos, for example, and gaming on it might not be quite as good as, you know, a, a dedicated high-end console or gaming PC, but for an all-in-one, easy, affordable setup for working from home, studying, video conference calls, browsing the web, and a little bit of gaming, this works absolutely great. So for me, the Tab S7 Plus has all the hallmarks of a great premium Android tablet and definitely one to consider, but with the DeX integration, it's just got that little extra, that je ne sais quoi, which yeah, I do speak French, which you might not find elsewhere on the market. Oh, look, it's got an update. Good work, Samsung. <laughs> I will leave all the information that I've talked about today in the video description below, so you can go through and check it out if you so wish. And if you currently have a Samsung tablet like this that has DeX, or you have a Samsung smartphone that has DeX integration, I strongly recommend if you haven't, you go and check it out because you may find it just gives you that added option that you're currently missing. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and love everything tech. I love you and leave it. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.